following is a presentation of HBO Sports. It has been said everything is bigger in Texas. Cowboys Stadium stands as a testament to that. It is a lavish billion dollar endeavor and the largest dome stadium in the world. On March 13th, it will play host to the Manny Pacquiao Joshua Clotty fight. It's a grand stage befitting one of boxing's biggest stars. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. Manny Pacquiao's ascent in boxing has been nothing short of historic. I've been calling fights for 24 years. I don't remember any other fighter having a streak like Pacquiao has had the last couple of years. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De Loya. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. We thought Manny Pacquiao was great. He's better than we thought. His performances were becoming more electric, more exciting. Each time a Manny Pacquiao fight has become an event. He's an absolute phenomenon. His journey has taken him from the impoverished streets of the Philippines to worldwide fame. There's a giant romance with Manny Pacquiao, and that giant romance has burst the seams of the boxing cult and now goes into the general sports world. The Filipino's latest challenge, Joshua Clotty, has fought his way up the ranks from his native Ghana, a West African country with a proud boxing heritage. That area of Accra where, where Clotty's from, that's the boxer's area. That's where the badasses come from. Clotty's always in top shape. He's physically very strong in an unpredictable sport like boxing, Clotty presents certain problems for anyone. Hard right hand by Clotty. Miguel Cotto in deep tonight. On March 13th, Clotty will enter the ring with the odds against him, but the opportunity of a lifetime before him. Clotty wants to prove that he can win the big one, because he's been in title fights before, and he came up short. If Clotty beats Manny Pacquiao, instantly Joshua Clotty becomes an elite fighter. Whatever else he does in the rest of his career, if he beats Manny Pacquiao, March 13th, 2010 will be the greatest night of his life. Two lives spent in the ring, two careers colliding for one night. You got an icon from the Philippines fighting a tough guy from Ghana in the stadium where America's football team plays. It could only happen in boxing. This is the road to Dallas. Pacquiao versus Claudi. In January, two men sized up each other and the venue where they'd soon stand toe to toe instead of side by side. Show these guys the stadium from my suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ushered to the private suite of the NFL's most famous owner, these men born in faraway lands first glimpsed the home of America's team. <laughs> Amazing stadium. It's a big and new one. I'm very excited to fight like that big stadium. While one man basked in the bright lights of celebrity, another retreated from their glare. For Joshua Clotty, the surroundings were as imposing as the challenge lying ahead. It was very, very beautiful. I never see a stadium like that before. I was like, wow, this is fantastic. Am I going to stand in front of this stadium and fight? You know, come on, it's a blessing. Manny Pacquiao, Clotty, I can't tell you what it means to have the first fight in the history, we will make it a fight to be remembered in this new stadium. I think the fight wound up at the new Cowboy Stadium because its owner, Jerry Jones, realizes that Manny Pacquiao is a, a, a transcendent name. When Pacquiao announced his March 13th fight against Clotty, it ended hopes for a showdown against another claimant of the pound-for-pound -pound throne. Cotto backs into the corner, he's in big trouble now. Last November, moments after Pacquiao dismantled Miguel Cotto, the stage was set for a fight of epic proportions. The 50th win of Pacquiao's now legendary career. Next question, is Pacquiao good enough to beat Floyd Mayweather? It was given that as soon as Manny Pacquiao defeated uh, Miguel Cotto, that the entire boxing world would want to see Pacquiao Mayweather. People who don't follow boxing would come up to me and say, what's happening with Mayweather Pacquiao? When's it gonna happen? It appeared that it was going to happen because within a matter of just a few days, 
all issues seemed to have been settled in the negotiation and they were headed forward. And then there was this, this one more or less unusual issue. Then that was drug testing. Mayweather insisted that Pacquiao take Olympic-style drug testing. Pacquiao refused. The fight fell apart. Before negotiations had even begun, Mayweather's camp went to the press with unsubstantiated allegations against Pacquiao of using performance-enhancing drugs. There's no validation in, in that, that accusation because he's never been tested positive. He's been tested every title fight, and he's passed every time. Just because he went from 106 pounds to 147, that means he's on steroids. Well, Floyd Mayweather went from 106 to 154. So, you know, Floyd, are you on steroids too? I mean, it's, it's bullshit. Man, he's not afraid of needles. He's afraid of giving blood. Doesn't, he feels that taking something out of the body, as far as his nutrients and the, and the food and all of that, feels like it takes, it zaps him. When we fought Eric Morales for the first time and he lost that fight, blames that on the day before the fight we had to give blood. Now whether it's, it's valid or not, it's not the thing. And anybody that knows in, in the sport of boxing, you know, there's a lot of mental preparation that goes into this. So if mentally you feel that something is weakening or you didn't do something, it's gonna mess with you. I'm a very clean fighter. I don't even know what is a uh, steroid. I don't have idea what is that. Because for me, hard work and uh, faith to God, that's my energy every day. It was bad for boxing because everyone thought that the fight was so big, it had to happen. And everybody was talking about the fight as though it were made. And then, oh, hold the phone, folks. It's not going to happen. As Pacquiao and Mayweather's camps reached an impasse, the door opened for a lesser-known fighter from Ghana. Joshua Clardy had no idea that he was ever going to be involved. And then suddenly, boom, he gets the call. Here you go, fight this guy, the number one fighter in the world, in this great new stadium. Millions, maybe billions will watch. 40,000 in the arena. Where you go, kid. Good luck. I was in Ghana, I know even thinking about boxing. I can't even sleep. Because I was like, I'm fighting with Pacquiao. For Claudie, the assignment of a lifetime begins in a small apartment in the South Bronx shared with his girlfriend, Ruth. He came to the New York City borough seven years ago and has grown accustomed to running early. Before dawn breaks, Claudie heads to work, an anonymous New Yorker with the streets to himself. When I was coming to America, I was so hungry that I want to fight with the best, you know, let me be around them. When they're talking about Shem Muslim, Pakia, Koro, Margarita, they should talk about Joshua. Despite a 15-year pro career, Claudia is a relative unknown among welterweight stars. But the chance to fight Manny Pacquiao can change all that. It is a chance for recognition for himself and his homeland. I'm from Ghana, Boko. <laughs> I was born there, I was brought up there, I was living there, I became a boxer. So that's how it is. Bukum is a section of the capital city of Accra, where there are two options, fishing and fighting. Throughout the neighborhood, the two pursuits are intertwined, as the ropes used here were once used here. It was the area's fishermen who first boxed on the beach, inspiring a storied fighting tradition. There's a really proud history of really very good Ghanaian fighters. Azuma Nelson, an absolutely outstanding featherweight. This is mostly all Azuma Nelson. Ike Quarté, really world-class welterweight. Down goes De La Hoya. And now along comes Joshua Clardy. There's an uppercut from Clardy. Google made me a lot of tough, very, very tough. It's all about fighting because it's like a place whereby you have to be strong. Even if you're a young kid, you have to, because if you don't, people will beat you. 